So today I have the one liter kettle from Fire Maple for you. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this kettle, keep watching. Before I begin, I just want to thank Fire Maple for sending me their kettle so that I could share it with you. You know, when I introduced the Antarctic line of products from Fire Maple, uh, this is the one that most people expressed an interest in seeing more of it. And I can understand that. This is such a classic design, very Nordic looking in its design. It is just looks like a great kettle. But the question is, does it perform as well as it looks? I'll tell you now, yes it does. But I will share my experiences with this kettle, but I'm also going to compare it against another kettle, a well-known kettle that I've used for a long time, and I have a yet another kettle that you may be interested in seeing as well. All right, quickly I'll give you the dimensions of this kettle and uh, then we'll move on from there. So it is about six and a half inches in diameter and about five inches in height, pretty much the same as most kettles of its class and size and design. Uh, it is made from stainless steel. The weight, I have it at 400 or 254 grams. I forgot to convert that into ounces, but I'll do that and put it on the screen right now. Um, yeah, so let's talk about the design a little bit and then I'll do the comparison. So it is a fold-up bale handle on this and I'll bring it in a little closer to the camera because the bale is kind of unique and has some uh, cool features about it. Little stand-up spout right here. The Parts where the bale holds onto are welded, tack welded to the kettle on either side. It is a little gummy right now because I have been using it, obviously. So let me just bring that in. You can see the bale up close. So you can quite easily, if you wanted to, for some reason, remove the bale just by bending it out and it'll come out of the holes. Interestingly though, the bale has an extension here that I wasn't quite sure of when I first got it, what it was all about. But the idea is, is as you tip the kettle to pour, that that will catch the lid to keep it from falling out. Now, quite honestly, I've, I've gotten used to doing this, just holding the, the lid down with my finger and I continue to do that, but it is nice to know that that is there to prevent that from coming out. Look at the detents on these upright portions here. And look how defined they are. And listen how it snaps into place. It just goes into place and stays up. So it stays up very nice and upright. Now, here's another key feature I didn't know right away. Look at the spout. So the spout is almost up straight up, but there is a kind of a, a forward little portion of the spout that makes it even easier to pour with. Okay, so we all agree that it is a classic looking kettle and I've been using it in a number of videos now, making coffee. Actually, I boil eggs in it quite often for hard boiled eggs while I'm out in the woods. So it, it's, there's no question that this is quite a good kettle. Now, one thing uh, one of my viewers commented on was that he was afraid that this portion of the, where that the detent is that holds the bale was going to break off if he bent it because he said his handle would not stay upright. Now my, my suggestion was is that you don't bend that portion, bend the handle itself, bend the bail inwards a little bit and it will spring back into the detent. If the detent isn't uh, curved outwards then maybe that needs bending but I, I don't see it to be quite honest on this kettle. It would be forever before this thing started falling down on its own. Okay, so I did say I had another kettle that I wanted to compare this with, and it was the most requested kettle for comparison, and that is the GSI Stainless Steel Catalyst. So I've had this for eight, nine years. As you can see, every once in a while I'll clean the tar and the soot off of the bottom, but most of the time I just clean off anything that's loose so I don't get dirty and leave it there. So size and weight wise, I'll put the comparisons in the video description. What I can tell you about them, as you can see, is they're almost identical in size. Well, they both have the same capacity, so they're almost identical in size. They have the same diameter. All right, so they're very, very close. So there are a few features of each of these that uh, pros and cons to both of them. Number one, on the fire metal or the fire maple, uh, I prefer this bale over the one on the GSI. Now, they're both good, don't get me wrong, the GSI is good, but it is a lighter weight wire bale and it is a little bit more likely to fall down, not that it has, like it still stands up when I leave it on a wood stove. But the metal is all lighter where, the, where it's welded to the kettle itself. It's a little bit lighter in nature. I have not had a problem, but I have had 
uh, reports from other people that this has cracked over time. It, I think you had to put it in the fire a lot before that happened, but uh, uh, it's, if it's going to happen, it'll happen to the GSI, I would think, before it happens to the fire maple. And I've had this on some hot fires. It's getting nice and black the way you like it. So those are the pros and cons as far as the bill goes. Now, here is one relative con to the fire maple and that is how small the opening is. So this has actually a very small opening. I mean, it doesn't affect the function of this as a kettle at all, not what's, none whatsoever. All right, good, drop the lid. But one of the things I'll do with my kettle when I'm packing up to come out for the day is if I can get things inside of it to maximize the space and, and use the space inside of the kettle, then I'll do that. That's real easy with the GSI. It is wide open and there's lots of space to put all kinds of things. Usually my fire kit, maybe maybe some coffees and tea in there, depending, uh, so I can put it all inside. Now, it also means that if I'm doing any cooking inside of this as a pot, because it could be used as a pot, then it's easier to reach in and clean it out as well as put the food in and serve it out of. Not so much with the fire maple. It has a smaller opening and while it does work well as a kettle, and I have used it and will be using it today to hard boil some eggs, it's just a little harder to get inside of. It's still uh, open enough that I can get down inside and clean the corners out, but I'm less likely to use this as a pot and probably reserve it just to be used as a kettle. I did say a minute ago that I had another kettle that I wanted to show you, compare it with against the one liter fire maple kettle, and that is the 1.5 liter fire maple kettle. Look at the size of this one. This is a huge kettle, really, really nice. And obviously brand new, has not seen the fire at all yet. I just received this very recently and I thought since I was coming out today to review this one, that I might as well bring the two of them out to show you. So what I will be doing, of course, is putting the links and all the information for both of these kettles in the video description below, as well as a comparison in terms of size and weights and everything with the GSI stainless steel Catalyst. There's one more thing I wanna do before I close this video out, and that is to announce that I will be able to give away one of these kettles to one lucky viewer that it lives in North America. So this contest, unfortunately, is only open to residents of the United States and of Canada. I apologize to everybody else, but that is what Fire Maple advises me. They cannot ship outside of North America. So what I want to do is uh, just leave me a comment that you're interested in having your name entered into the drawing for one of these one liter fire maple kettles. In two weeks from the posting of this video, I'll draw one name uh, for the kettle. I will then try and get in contact with you or ask you to get in contact with me and we'll arrange to have one of these kettles, kettles shipped to you. Okay, if you have any questions or any comments, please put them in the comments section below. Again, all the information I have on this kettle as well as the other two kettles will be in the video description. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.